Now I'll say a few things about angles used in navigation. And angles used in navigation are often referred to as headings, the way that your boat or plane is heading. So if you're navigating a boat or piloting a plane, there are an infinite number of directions in which you could point. And we typically draw maps with north up at the top and south down at the bottom and east and west to the right and left as you see there and if you think about all the possible directions in which you could travel well there are really an infinite number of possible directions but thinking about all of them makes us think about a full circle or 360 degrees so it makes sense to use an angle to specify the direction and that that angle is somewhere between 0 and 360 degrees now people who are navigating use a, a method of specifying their direction that puts zero degrees as north. North, A heading of north is the same as a heading of zero degrees. And then the angles increase going clockwise from north. So if you were going directly east, that would be a heading of 90 degrees. If you were going northeast, which is directly between north and east, well that would be halfway around from zero to 90. So that would be a 45 degree heading right there. A 60 degree heading would be about like this. 60 degrees. That means a 60 degree angle from north starting with zero here at north and rotating clockwise from there. And you can go on past a 90. If you went down here, say you were going southeast which would be this way. That angle clockwise from north that's uh, 135 degrees and you could probably see that due south the heading directly south is halfway around the circle from north so going directly south would be a heading of 180 degrees and if you were going southwest well that's another 45 degrees around from here so from here all the way around to there, that's a rotation of uh, 225 degrees. And then due, due west would be a 270 degree heading. That rotation or that angle is 270 degrees. 270 degrees clockwise from north. And if you're going northwest, that would be a heading of 315 degrees. This rotation is 315 degrees. 360 degrees takes you full circle. A heading of 360 degrees is the same thing as a heading of zero degrees. Now you can see immediately that this is different from the way a mathematician specifies angles. Mathematicians are dealing with the xy plane and we've seen that mathematicians always start at the x-axis and rotate counterclockwise. So this is a zero degree angle right there along the x-axis. 45 degrees, degrees is right there. Then straight up along the y-axis, that's 90 degrees. And we go on around from there. So this would be 135 degrees over here. And then 180 here. Oops, let me fix that. 180 180 degrees and then in this direction here would be 225 degrees straight down in the negative y direction would be 270 and then in the fourth quadrant there right in the middle of the fourth quadrant that would be 315 degrees and then 360 would be the same as zero so Navigators, the whole point here is that navigators specify angles starting at north and going clockwise, and mathematicians specify, ang specify angles starting at the x-axis and going counterclockwise. The way a navigator does it is often called a heading. The way a mathematician does it is often called a standard angle or sometimes called a mathematical angle, but the term standard angle is often used. A lot of times you need to convert between one or the other. You might be given a heading and asked, what is the corresponding standard angle? 
or the other way around. You might be given a standard angle and asked what is the corresponding heading. So we'll do some examples of converting between those two. I'll do four examples of converting from a heading to a standard angle. Do one example from each quadrant. And then four examples converting from, this, from a standard angle to a heading. And it's not hard as long as you understand what these angles are and how they are specified. In one case we go clockwise from north in the other case we go counterclockwise from the x-axis. If you just understand that one rule everything else follows from that. And then the other thing that it's helpful to remember is that a right angle is 90 degrees. So as we go around, if we imagine going around the circle 90 degrees at a time, you can think of counting by 90s. So that's 90, 180, 270, 360. Or on the mathematical angles, if you go 90, it gets you to there, 180 gets you there, 270 there, and 360 there. Okay, that's enough introduction to the topic. Next, we'll look at some examples of converting from one type of angle to the other.